everyone I'm back and today I thought I would do something different um it's probably going to be completely different to anything you'll ever see on this channel in terms of makeup um I don't know if it's obvious by now but I am a massive fan of drag race I have been for the last couple of years and the one thing that I love to watch most on drag race is the queens putting themselves into paint if you're a drag race fan and you're also into makeup like me hopefully you'll enjoy this video I've got a couple of drag themed things in the background i've got these pop figures as well so today i thought who better to do when putting yourself into drag and a look to go by than the makeup of the infamous trixie mattel i love trixie she's my favorite queen out of any of the queens on drag race i absolutely adore her to the point i even named my own dog after trixie so yeah with that being said we're gonna get into it i've got a couple of things that i bought for today's video so I'm gonna be gluing down, I'm gonna be doing this completely, the whole thing, apart from tucking because I don't have a dig. I'm gonna be wearing a wig, I'm gonna do full on blocked out brows, big lashes, all of it. I've always wanted, I've just never really thought to sit down and do my makeup and like I say do my makeup, put myself into drag makeup. It's something I've wanted to do for such a long time now and I thought what better to do than make a video on it. I have bought a few things for this video, so I've got the the Elmer's purple glue stick used by pretty much every queen going that has ever existed. I've also got, get ready for this, a full on wig as well. I just, I was really drawn to like the colours and design of this one and it's not Trixie hair at all. If anything, it's more Manila from season three, but I just, I really liked it and I figured seeing as you're only gonna be able to see my head and shoulders in the shot, what better to go for than like a nice choppy wig. I'm really excited to do this. I hope you guys enjoy it if you're into Drag Race or not. It should be, it should be entertaining. I think I'd not, don't get me wrong, by no means do I think this is going to be easy. I think I've set myself one hell of a challenge. I'm so glad that I don't have to go and walk my dogs today because I think this is going to take me hours and I am not going outside with this on my face. I apologise in advance for the amount of drag mouth that I'm probably going to have throughout this video. It is an issue. It has been pointed out to me by my husband. And um, yeah, it's just a thing. It happens. I have bad drag mouth. I'll try and chat to you as much as I can throughout the video. First things first, I'm going to block out my brows. This is a technique done by a lot of, well, I'd probably say majority, if not all of queens, apart from maybe queens who shave their brows off. I don't want to sound like one of those people, but I vaguely know what I'm doing. I've watched several videos of uh, queens on YouTube and actually on the season themselves getting themselves into drag. So I'm quite familiar with the process of blocking down brows. That being said, I've never done it before. So I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> we're just, we're just going to go with it. We're just going to try it and see what happens. Oh, I'm excited. That iconic Elmer's purple glue stick. So here we go. Oh god. Do you know what? I'm so excited right now. I really am. When I was coming up with um ideas for what makeup videos to do, I thought, what's something that will be entertaining, but also something that I'm gonna enjoy? This was it. I've been watching Drag Race and um, the current season the UK, so the American and the UK season at the minute. And I've also been watching reruns of Drag Race, like old seasons that I've seen before many, many times, but you forget and sometimes it, that looks crazy. <laughs> you forget and it's nice to kind of go back and revisit, um, revisit old favorite seasons of mine. One of my favorite queens is Trixie Mattel and I chose to do her makeup. I wanted to do Trixie drag. Trixie drag to me is just so damn entertaining and I just, yeah, I really wanted to do it. Using a spoolie to really pull those hairs up so I'll sit nice and flat underneath the foundation. Really work that glue in. I'm so aware that I'm gonna look absolutely ridiculous throughout the majority of this video. I kind of don't care. I'm gonna use, this is the RCMA No Color Powder. 
so that I can powder down my brows. If you want to watch Trixie actually put herself into her drag and you want to see how she does it, um, maybe after this video before, I will link a video down in the description box for you below so you can check that out. I love her channel. Obviously with um, COVID and everything that's been going on this last year, um, she's been doing a lot more videos at home because there's less kind of shows for her to go and perform and do and I have to say like I've absolutely been loving her content like I think it's brilliant and I will just sit and watch it for hours in the evening okay next layer of glue fingers crossed this will go well yeah they look pretty damn glued out down to me I don't care I'm fully living for it I'm ready to live out my drag fantasy yeah it's gonna be amazing wow that's a look let me know what you guys think so far in the comments down below. I'm going to leave those to dry a little bit um, before I do my next layer, which will probably be just straight up foundation over the top that hopefully covers it. Fingers crossed. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. That is hella weird. I have no eyebrows. I'm not sure how to feel about this. I've used um so this is the hourglass vanish foundation stick I chose it because it's super super high coverage and yeah I just don't think I could do a full-on oh my god my eyebrows are gone they're gone they're gone they're not coming back I chose that foundation because you can't you can't put drag makeup on in a low to medium coverage foundation it's just it's not a thing my eyebrows are gone they're gone <laughs> I, I can't get over this. I literally, I mean, I knew this was gonna happen. I don't know why I'm acting surprised, but it's just still really weird to see my face. Um, yeah, without, without eyebrows. Yeah, okay, phase one done, <laughs> sorted. I'm gonna prime my face next, um, just so that foundation just sits on my skin really nicely. Um, even though this is drag makeup and supposed to be sort of seen from a distance and not kind of looked at close up, I still want to get it looking pretty flawless if I can. I've just realised I've got post arriving today and I'm going to have to answer the door. Shit. And there's no one here that can take the parcel besides me. Because I'm not worried about um, going particularly... I'm not worried about my foundation looking cakey or unrealistic in, in any way. And I'm not worried about creasing or anything like that. I'm gonna have so many layers of powder on my face. I'm just gonna go in and full on concealer the hell out of any kind of blemish, tattoos, they can get covered up, anything like that. I can't believe how well my brows got blocked down. I mean, you can see them a little bit, but by the time I've got all my Trixie, Trixie eyes going on, you're not gonna be able to see them. So I'm just doing this as like a base layer because was the tattoo still. I mean, if it peeks through, it peeks through, but hopefully by the time I've done all my layers and my contouring and everything like that, it's gonna be, it's gonna be gone. I think one of my favorite things about Drag Race is just waiting to see what looks are gonna come out on the runway. Obviously I live for the drama, don't get me wrong. If I was like, oh, I don't enjoy the drama and the fights and things like that, I'd be a straight up liar because I love it. I love seeing what looks each queens are gonna bring each season, obviously their personalities. The challenges, I mean, as far as the acting challenges go, uh, they really make me cringe. And I always find it upsetting when you get the drag queens that, you know, acting isn't their thing and they get upset when they just can't, they can't do it the, the way that people want them to. And I don't know if it's a required part. I know it's for the show and I know it's for entertainment purposes. and. The idea is to find an all-rounder queen who can do most of it. But I kind of find the acting challenges and everything, like the whole, I just find it super cringy. Yeah, if you're looking for a high coverage foundation, by the way. Girl, look how orange you look, girl. This is the one. I couldn't wear this day to day. I'm just saying I wear it very lightly across my face. This is probably the most foundation I've ever put on my face in one in one go. I've not done too great with the texture of the glue there. I don't know if you can see that sort of 
popping up i'm hoping we can cover that later on i'm so worried about that lady coming to the door she's gonna think i'm crazy i'm just gonna i'm just gonna open the door like this i've decided it's fine it's gonna be fine five minutes into the video zoe's panicking about answering the door still after her revelation i should have waited i just should have waited but i needed to get this filmed because i don't know how long this is going to take me to do <laughs> i have a reference picture that i'm using to go by hopefully you can see that and um yeah i've watched trixie put her eyes and her eye makeup on quite a few times now so I'm, I know that she sketches out the eyeliner part first and then she does the eyeshadow um, bit after. So I'm going to do that first. I realise actually, so I think this is like her second or third generation makeup. She's changed her look so many times, like the way that she does it. This is the, I remember when she used to paint like this, she would always do eyeshadow first. So that's what I'm going to do because I'm following this picture. Slash my memory, like please understand that i am also following my memory at the same time as trying to get this to fit my face rather than trixie's mattel trixie mattel's but i mean so far i don't think we're far off <laughs> okay i've got to try and get this right so i think it's around here around here is where the eyeshadow starts if you're interested i'm using the beauty bay slash nikki tutorials palette as usual, in all of my makeup videos, every product I use will be linked down below, even the glue stick. So if, you, uh, if you're if you still not back to work or school or wherever, and you fancy being like me and putting yourself into drag, you can give it a go. <laughs> if I were you, I would just follow Trixie's videos rather than mine, because I don't know how great this is going to go yet. And if you haven't watched Drag Race yet and you think you feel like it's something that you might be into and you might enjoy, you can watch it on Netflix. Um, I'm pretty sure every season is up there. And I think there's some seasons of Untucked as well, which is a bit after the girls have been on stage to get their critiques and stuff. They just chat shit and bitch and things like that. So I just hope I do a good job of it. I just The last thing I'd want is to not do her beat justice and i say beat that's another i'd say like drag slang drag lingo your beat is your face after you've painted it so if i say beat at any point in my videos you now know what that means okay and then she's got a shape that kind of goes down here so far it looks like a trixie look i'm just i'm so excited but I also don't want to rush it either because I want to make this the the best effort that I possibly could have put into it. Okay, that's like my base layer. I feel like what I need to do now is sketch out where my brows are going to go because that's the bit that I'm the most nervous about. So I've seen her quite a few times. She'll sketch in where the brows are going to go and she'll come back to them later. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm back. I've sketched out my brows. Hopefully you can see that. They're very, very light. And yes, they're very, very high. They're meant to be. <laughs> and I'm just gonna keep going with everything else. I think what I'm gonna do next is, I'm probably gonna mark out where the, no, I don't know. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna sketch out where I'm gonna be putting my liner and everything. I think I'm doing it right. I think I have quite a small face compared to Trixie. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <sighs> now I've got to try and do that exactly on the other side. So here we go. Okay, I sort of fucked that a bit, but I can, I can neaten it all up at the end. It's no big deal. Okay, I need to get the shape right. I'm trying to do it as well so that you guys can see. Oh, okay, we're going. Okay, that's not quite how I wanted it to go, but fine. That's the shape we're going for. 
I'm kind of annoyed I didn't do that exactly how I wanted it to because this is like the most important, in my opinion, the most important part. But hopefully when it's all together, it's going to look fine. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to deepen up the brown that I've got on and kind of blend everything down around this outside edge. So I'm going to take the shade 5am from the Nikki, the Nikki palette. And I'm just going to really deepen everything. So all the shadow I put down previously, I'm going to kind of deepen that inside part and so that it kind of flows. It flows well with the black and everything. And it'll be a nice, because we're going to be putting white here and white here. So it should provide quite a nice contrast. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Like I know what I'm doing. I really don't. I'm going to deepen this top part up here as well. Just taking that kind of brown, kind of blending it closer to this like eyeliner part. And that's really weird because this eyelid that I've created, this eyelid here, that's my eyebrow. I often find that when the queens are done getting into their drag and they put their makeup on everything and the wig goes on and everything like that, they have this moment where they just really come into the persona and I do wonder if that's going to happen to me once I put that wig on. I just fully feel my oats and that's it. I'm just... <sighs> this is just like the best day. <laughs> so Trixie has usually quite a light colour for like the actual lid part, which is the little... I'll just show you the reference again. She's always got this little white part here where her eyelid is and then this part in here so i'm going to fill those in now and then i'll be putting the black straight over the top so i'm taking this is the ColourPop cream gel liner in the shade exit it's a pure white color and it dries very it does dry quite quick so i'm trying not to take too much time putting this on and just kind of get it get it on there and then I can stick some kind of shimmer shade over the top. It's kind of merged in with the brown, which I had a feeling it might do. So I think what I'm going to do is take some out on the back of my hand, get the initial shape down. And then once I've got the initial shape down, I can go around it. I've got a liquid white eyeliner and I can really kind of cut and carve that shape because only the eyeshadow that's soft when she does her like a full beat the rest of it is very angular and very sharp i'm gonna go in with this this is a nyx uh matte no white liquid liner and then i'm probably gonna fill it in with that as well this is gonna be a bitch to get off later i just know i have so much of a hard time trying to take my makeup off later. I have to use like a Brillo pad to get it off. I'm gonna do the brows part next. So I'm going in with, this is the Unicorn Cosmetics Wicked palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Holy Spirit, but obviously I'm gonna take the brown side. <sighs> Let's just do it. It's not really turn up the shade that I wanted it to. So I might just keep going, but I might use another product on top. Try this pen. The pen I'm using now, this is the NYX lift and snatch brow tint pen and it is in the shade brunette so i'm just going to use that to create a couple of hair stroke like textures i think i needed to bring the brow further in down into my eye there i think yeah her brows sit down here oh i look crazy i look crazy I am crazy. I'm going to take a bit of the 5am from the Nikki palette again. This is the shade that I used in here. I'm going to see if I can just sort of make this brow a bit better. A bit darker towards the tail end maybe. Sort of stumping. I'm using like an angled liner brush. And I'm just sort of stumping the hair strokes in. Let's carve out the brows. So I'm going to take this as a Sample Beauty flat synthetic brush. 
I take a little bit more of that ColourPop Exit Gel Liner just on the back of my hand. Just using the reference, I'm gonna put the gel liner underneath my brow here just to kind of highlight the brow bone. I wanted to say as well, like, thank you for um, a few of the comments that I've had on my videos. It's been, there's been a couple, it's early days yet, my channel's not been up long, but the few that I did see, I just wanted to say thank you for leaving those. If any of you guys want to chat about anything drag race in the comments down below, I'd love to get into a discussion about it with you. Um, I'm quite a big drag race fan. It's Like I said, it's only been a couple of years, but <laughs> every time I look at myself, I can't take myself seriously. Yeah, if you wanted to have a chat about anything drag race down below, leave a comment. I'd love to talk about it. It's one of my favourite things to talk about. So don't be shy, leave a comment and we'll have a little chin wag about it. So I've got here, this is the Inglot AMC gel liner. This is the black one. I can't remember what the shade is. Don't know if it says. I'm not too sure what the shade is, but I know it's black. And now I'm going to fill in this black portion here. And I'm hoping once I do that, I might start to look and feel a little bit more tricksy. And I can kind of neaten up this edge. Kind of get right tight up to that part of my eye here. And I'm just filling in this little part here as well oh my god <laughs> this is hilarious if you choose to do this at home i strongly recommend you get yourself a gel black liner like this it's a lot easier and you will get that full like solid black effect but straight after i put this gel liner in i'm going to set it down with a pitch black eyeshadow as well because i don't want this to kind of I'm talking as if I'm going to go on stage and run around with a fan and do like a full performance. I'm not, but you know, you don't want it moving around. So it's probably best to set it down. I went to go and see a few years back. So this was with my husband and my best friend. We went to go and see Bianca Del Rio. Um, she is from season six. She was the winner of season six. And she does, she did her own stand up um, tour. And it's possibly one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Um, if you watch season six or you've seen season six, you'll absolutely know why and what I'm talking about. And this week, Bianca, if you go on to anywhere where there's podcasts, Bianca put up her own podcast recently. And I had a little listen to that yesterday. I've also met Adore Delano. If you want to know my ultimate fave, she's my favourite out of all of them. And you know what? I was very starstruck. It was a very surreal moment when I met her after watching on TV for about a year or so. Um, possibly one of the nicest people I've ever met. So nice. Like so nice and so kind. And it was just incredible. And it's not me telling you that every single queen you go and meet for a meet and greet will be as nice as that. You might not get that lucky, but Adore definitely was. She made the night really magical for me. Then come done, filling in my little, I am gutted that this one went a little bit, woo, I'd rather it kind of come in a bit more like that. Yeah, it's a shame really. I'd have liked it to be, but I don't really think I can fix it without messing it up. Like I think I am kind of stuck like this now. So I think the next thing I need to do is put this white part in here underneath the eyes. I'm just gonna kind of do it without really talking about it, I think. <laughs> this is just crazy i'm gonna set all of the white that i've done underneath my eyes and taking a white shadow this shadow is from the life's a drag oh it's actually a drag palette as well i didn't even think about that I genuinely didn't even think about it it's the luna beauty by money mua life's a drag palette and that white i tell you what is useful it's called cake face very apt for how I'm feeling right now, I'm not gonna lie. On that white, just to kind of set it into place because it's like a cream product underneath the eyes. Blending the other parts. I'm gonna be sticking lashes across here. So that's gonna be interesting to sort of see 
how that goes. I think it's a good idea for me to set um, this part as well with the gel liner. So I'm going to take the black shade, which is right underneath that white I just used. It's in the... It's called Shady. Give me a little eyeliner triangle. Can you imagine if people walked around with eyeliner like this for real? I mean, some people do. <laughs> really. But... If you are a Drag Race fan, comment below your favourite queen and your favourite season and why. I'd be interested to know. I think my favourite winner, I'd probably say Bianca. Not because I'm a kiss ass or anything like that or because I've seen her live. I would just say that all, all round her, she was really well skilled. Um, she had a good attitude for winning the game. Um, I feel like she took it seriously enough but not too seriously, unlike some of the other queens that just get so in their heads about it and yeah and not only that but she's fucking hilarious like so funny and i her humor is very, she's very much an insult comic so if you don't get that you probably wouldn't enjoy it but for me i love a good insult comic so i just really love watching her absolutely read some other people it's just so entertaining jocelyn fox she's so gay even her ass has a list <laughs> i'm just going to quickly set my face and bake it um, I'm using the Coty Air Spun Powder and I'm just going to really pack it on just so I don't fuck up any more foundation. I just got black all down on my foundation and I had to kind of redo it around this side of my eye and my nose. <coughs> if you've ever used Coty Air Spun Powder then you'll absolutely know why I just choked out there. It smells like old lady. It's like the worst thing ever. Oh, that is horrible. Not nice. I'm going to let that sit and bake for a minute. And when I come back, we're going to work on my nose contour and lips and everything like that. So be right back. Oh, no, I'm going to have to go to get the door. OK, that wasn't that bad. I didn't have to sign for it, but I just opened my window above my front door like this. Like, hi. <laughs> wow. I'm going to dust off part of that baking powder just so I can kind of get this contour on. I've watched Trixie do her contour numerous times. I'm going to do it in the same way and hopefully it's going to be fine. So if you're wanting to do this at home you want to take a piece of paper or a piece of card, I'm just using an envelope, and you want to hold it in line at the corner of the mouth <sighs> like that. You need a lot of hands to be a drag queen. I'm taking it Sample Beauty PB17. Look at that foundation it came off. And then I'm just gonna hold it like that. And because I'm doing drag, I can bronze up as much as I want. And not worry about looking like a hot mess after. Ready? I just can't believe it's worked. I'm gonna ha I'm gonna have to video call my husband like this. He's gonna die. He's gonna think this is so fucking amazing. I hope so. What can I say? I'm sickening. Ah, so <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna start bronzing up my um, contouring out my jaw. So I can make my face, I know Trixie does this because he has man face and is trying to make it smaller but I really want my makeup to look as similar to his as possible and I've never been able to get away with wearing so much contour and bronzer in my life that I'm just going to have a field day with it I think and just go full on ham. Now I've done that part, honestly I'm gagging for it like ugh. rude. I'm going to bronze up the forehead as well. I've not really got much forehead left to bronze, which is probably a good thing, because I'm used to having quite a, uh, somebody, will not mention names, would call a five head. I just can't get over this. Okay, I'm gonna deepen up this. This is only like a light one shade. I know, me saying it's only light, it is light. I'm gonna use this, this is Revolution Pro mega bronzer in the shade 05 deep and take me trusty little envelope just make sure it's lined up i'm gonna go into 
the deep side, just on this back part here. I feel like divine now. That might have been a bit dark. Divine is a very famous drag queen. If you don't know who she is, Google. Even though she has very cut out angular cheeks, I'm still gonna do Trixie blush. So I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and yeah, let's use this one. This is Peaches from MAC. Nice and powdered up. I'm just gonna blush the cheeks. I'm not, I'm trying not to go underneath that line there. Just kind of marrying the blush, bronze and contour and everything together. If I was a boy, I would do drag, straight or not, I would do drag because this is so much fun. Like, so much fun. Next, I'm gonna snatch up my nose and do that signature, signature Trixie snatch. This is quite a large, flat foundation brush and I'm gonna go make my nose really skinny. I'm just kind of marking out down my nose with that powder where the nose contour is going to be. We can kind of blend it a bit, but you want it quite, I want it nice and sharp. I don't want it to look all soft and kind of blended out because I have to do the, uh, the nose stripe part yet. I think if I'm right, it's probably his, it's his favorite part of the makeup where he doesn't feel like he's him until he does Okay, I'm gonna take some concealer on the back of my hand. I'm gonna take this brush here. Oh wow, that's nerve wracking. That's actually quite hard to do. I'm gonna double up a little bit on the end here. Pat it in a bit. Not that I need any more concealer on my forehead, but I mean, it's happening now. That's what we've got so far. Looking crazy, feeling fierce. I can't not add highlighter, so I'm gonna put some highlighter on. I'm gonna use the highlighter. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's got eyeliner on it. And take it, this is a Sample Beauty um, Pitch Artistry Highlighting Brush. And I'm just gonna go absolutely ham and put it across. I couldn't get over that contour, man. Honestly, it doesn't, I would actually say, yeah, I thought it would look tricksy when the eyes are in, and it does, but it really looks tricksy when you've got that cheek in. Like, yes, yes. I'm gonna do my lashes here. So for the bottoms, I'm using, for the tops, I'm using these massive lashes here. I, you probably won't be able to see them much, to be fair, until I turn to the side. Kind of a pointless endeavor, that. And then for the underneath, these are actually my regular magnetic lashes, so I can stick them down and attach them to the line. I can put them exactly where I want them to go then. If you haven't tried magnetic lashes out, I really recommend it. Literally, this is as easy as it is. You just put your liner down where you want the lashes to go. So normally, I would be putting them across my actual eyelid because I'm doing an underneath lash. They're gonna sit there. So let's just say for argument's sake, this is my eyelid. They put the liner down and they will sit, they will literally stick to that line. It's amazing. And then whilst that's drying, I'm going to glue the lash band of my drag lashes. I'm going to take the widest part of the lash at the bottom and just stick it from here, wrong side of the mirror. And it literally is as easy as that. They just stick on like that. Imagine doing that every day before you, okay, that's a really weird feeling. It's like an eyelash in the wrong place. <laughs> oh my God. I'm gonna have to ring my friend, I think, like this and be like, hey, hey girl, hey. I'm gonna overdraw, I'm gonna draw out the shape for my lips and I'm gonna be massively overdrawing them because we're doing a drag look. 
This is a cream um, gel liner. This is Insomniac by Colourpop. And I'm going to sketch out where my lips are going to go. And then I'm going to fill them in using a liquid lipstick. So that's just going to be my rough line that I'm following there. This is so bizarre. I'm using, this is a Jeffree Star liquid lip, I know, from the uh, Conspiracy Collection. This is in the shade Jeffree What The Fuck. I thought I might as well use it because I still have it and it's the perfect colour. It's like a hot pink. And I'm just going to fill in this entire lip shape. I'm even going to put it over the top of my piercing in the middle. Wow, <laughs> this is this is insane. This is just I can't even. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I need to put some glitter on these top lids. So I will grab some glitter and I'll be right back. I'm gonna pop some glitter. This is a Beauty Bay eyeshadow topper. This is, I think it's a shade Sensor. Yeah, Sensor. Little liquid. I love these, they're perfect. You just literally dab them on like that. It's not picking up at all. But take my word for it, the glitter is help. Probably doesn't help, this is going over the top of like a white eyeshadow base. So you probably can't see it that well. It's so weird. I honestly didn't think I would be able to do it. Like, I'm not tooting my own horn, but I didn't think I'd be able to do it this well. I'm just going to take a NYX, this is the Precision Black Eyeliner. Just sharpen up that edge where I put the glitter on so it doesn't transfer through. I might blend a little bit more of the eyeshadow up towards this back area here. I was going to do something else. Oh yeah, stick on my lashes so these are probably finally dry. I'm not sure how well these are going to stick or show up. And where my real lashes are, I, I can't even see. I've got so much eyelash on I cannot actually see. I'm just going to attempt to mascara my own lashes. I can't even. I can't even. This is just so weird. So weird. I've done this to myself, but this is so weird. <laughs> Gonna go in with the Nikki Beauty Bay highlight um, palette again. And just bring this shadow up a little bit higher. Pout. Oh no, that's the door again. You've got to be kidding me. That wasn't so bad. I managed to cover my face again out of the window. <laughs> God. I'm going to finish putting my lip gloss on. And um, after I've done that, I will be back and I'll be wearing a wig. I'm back. And yes, I am feeling my oats. So I've got my wig on, I've got my lashes on, and the look is complete. I don't know about you but I'm feeling it and I have to say I had so much fun doing this for this video I didn't realize how much fun this would be and actually how well it turned out let me know what you think in the comments below if you're a Trixie fan let me know what you think of the look do you like it is it giving you full-on Trixie vibes if you're a Drag Race fan as well like me and you want to chat about it leave it in the comments below and I'll definitely reply um, thank you so far for the comments that I have had on a few of my videos. I really hope that if anything you found this entertaining, it made your day in some way. It's definitely, it's made mine. Oh, we've got black in the wig. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm just so pleased that I did this. I feel like it's one of those moments, one of those things that I've always wanted to do. And I'm so glad I did it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't say that there'll be any more content like this because I, I feel like this honestly for me was a one-off. But needless to say, I really, really enjoyed it. 
If you're like me and you like conspiracy theories and makeup, once a week I sit down and I talk about a conspiracy theory whilst I'm doing my makeup and I upload every Tuesday. So if that sounds like something you're into, then please then feel free to hit subscribe down below. Um, give this video a like, a thumbs up. Um, and my conspiracies and makeup are very much inspired by Robert Welsh and Bailey Sarian. So if you like those guys, then give my have a look at my other videos that I've uploaded. I hope you all have a really fun week. I hope life is okay. Uh, stay safe and I will be back soon with more content. Bye.